This is a story of Dave and Sharon finally living their dreams of sailing to the Caribbean and beyond. Join us while we share our adventures from getting the boat ready and embarking on our cruising life. We're now heading up to Oxford, Maryland. It's beautiful sailing alongside our buddy boat, SV Pegaso. Passing by a container ship, We got to Oxford in time for a beautiful sunset. This was a very quiet anchorage and not a whole lot to do in town. We headed up to St. Michael's in Maryland and came across a cruising sailboat regatta race. It was fun to watch and we made sure we stayed out of their way. When we arrived at St. Michael's, there were quite a few boats anchored. SV Pegaso continued on to Deal and we met up with another buddy boat friend. Here's his boat. Here's Huntress. We visited the Classic Motor Museum where they have a collection of classic cars, motorcycles, and antique farm equipment. While we were there, St. Michael's put on a Waterman's Festival. It was a cool event. There were many vendors and one of them had this cool 3D art. I'm just showing this because our daughter's a um, artist. She likes doing 3D art too. And, uh, these plastics? These are plastics, right? It's on glass. It is, yeah. It is. And of course, we went in to see the museum, which is one of the nation's most complete collections of Chesapeake Bay artifacts and watercraft. It's located at Navy Point and was once the site of a busy complex seafood packing houses, docks and work boats. Is this a production The Maryland Crab Meat Company was located here. The women did most of the picking. They did build the quick pick machine that was supposed to take the place of the workers, but the women did a much better job at picking than the machine did.
Oyster House has a skipjack that's opened up so you can see how the boat worked and where the men slept. This is a really cool exhibit that shows different pieces of equipment and explains how the bay's oyster fisheries that shape this region's history, culture, and landscape. The oyster industry was bountiful in the late 19th century. Today's harvests are much, much less. We stopped for lunch and Dave got a dozen blue crabs and two ears of corn, all for $35. What a deal some really unique wood carving designs. This is a 12 foot high, two cylinder, 700 horsepower steam engine for a tugboat that was used to ferry railroad cars on car floats across the mouth of the Chesapeake. A mural machine, what I learned how to sew on when I was 10-ish. The Hooper Strait Lighthouse was built in 1879 and helped boats navigate the shallow and dangerous shoals of Hooper Strait across Tangier Sound to Deal Island. And this is where the crowd gathered to watch the docking contest. At one point, the dog was dropped off with us. During one of our evening dinghy rides with the dog, we cruised the harbor and checked out the nightlife at various restaurants. If you only had time to visit one place in the Chesapeake, then St. Michael's would be my top pick. Here we do. Yeah. 
Sail Selena 2 is a historic gaff rig cat boat luxury yacht built in 1926. The owner, Iris, and her crew take people out on cruises around the harbor where you get the chance to participate in raising the sails or just sit back and relax. This is a cool, isn't that cool? It's a uh, little book nook. There were many times that we walked around town checking out different areas. There seemed to be a lot of little book drop boxes everywhere. We left St. Michael's and headed up to Annapolis. I guess it was a little rough for the dog. Annapolis is a very busy anchorage. The depth was mostly 35 to 40 feet where we anchored. We found a great walking trail at the end of Back Creek to walk the dog. And came across deer that weren't too shy. We checked out the busy nightlife from the dinghy. Looks like a fun place to party. We want to say thank you to all of our viewers who have subscribed and commented. We appreciate your support and feedback. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps us build our channel up so we can keep bringing you more videos.